back to apologies real quick. Um, so my favorite teacher, probably of all time, if I had to rank him, Mr. Smith, sixth grade. I think I've mentioned him before on here. Um, what a G. Triple threat. Yeah, what a G. He was my science teacher, my robotics coach, and my soccer coach. So he was all over the place. Um, I remember once <clears throat> we were playing this good team. I made a mistake. I don't even remember what it was, but I made a mistake. And, you know, I was being all humble and shit. And he was like, he was like, yo, I don't even want to hear it. Just I'll know that you're sorry if you don't do it again. So it was going back <laughs> to the. Yeah, it was like, I mean, I, I made it sound like he's being a dick, but like <laughs> the way the way he said it was like comforting, but also like just don't, like it was firm, but comforting at the same time. If that makes sense. Cause I was like apologizing, like coach, right. my bad. Cause I think they scored off of it, and he was like, "Yo, yo, uh-huh. it's all good. Like, relax. You don't need to apologize. Whatever. Just, I'll know that you learn from it if you just don't do it again. Like, we're good." Yeah. So it was like yeah. a strict, comforting thing. It was cool the way he, the way he said it. But my question to you is going to be like, let's say someone does something wrong to you, right? Do you care for an apology, or do you just want the changed behavior, or do you want both? Talk to Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I think both, honestly, because the apology shows up front that they realize that they made the mistake. And then the change behavior shows they truly meant what they apologized about. Ooh. So it's a, okay. it's a two step. Yeah, it's a two step process. Okay. And I think it is two steps and exactly as that. No, you're right. The apology is the acknowledgement of the mistake. And then the change behavior is actually learning from those things. Damn, that's okay. That's solid. Because you have to acknowledge something to realize that you made the mistake. Right. Right. You can't live in you can't live in denial about it and say that never happened because then it will never it will never change. So you have to acknowledge it. So I don't want, yeah, I, I don't want somebody to sit here and say, yo, I'm just, I mean, I guess it's different for like, like, I know we both just said Josh and apologize a second time, <laughs> right. which kind of goes against what we now just said. Yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe he should apologize a second time. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how about, how about, what if we made this take? What if we made a take that if you make a mistake the first time, then apologize and change your behavior. But if it happens again, if you say anything, it's just a boy cried wolf situation, so you might as well just yeah. actually... Because the first mistake, you did the first part, you acknowledged it, but you didn't do the second part, you didn't actually change. So now you gotta true, focus true, true. on the change part. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fair enough. So, but yeah, so, I, I mean, I, I think it's a two-step process. Yeah, for sure.